but we recognize the purpose of all things. We recognize infinite intelligence and its ways. The ways in which we purify ourselves, the experiences that are necessary for our self-realization, for the expansion of awareness. All is serving. All is serving. Even amongst the harshest experiences, there is this realization. There is purpose. Some suffering has everything to do with these individuals causing suffering in previous lifetimes. We can observe the experience on a superficial level and say, well, hey, I don't appreciate uh, people being harmed. And of course not. These are reflections of self. No one wants to see anyone suffer, but to feel as if there is not a divine purpose in all that's taking place is, is ignorant of us. We don't know the soul's story. We don't know what was done in previous lifetimes, but obviously this was a part of the makeup of their current embodiment. It's in our maturity where we accept that and recognizing all are experiencing their own, um, their own configuration of being for the purpose of awareness and expansion and clearing karma. Experiencing retribution for previous um, errors in consciousness of causing others suffering in their own lifetimes or in their previous lifetimes. But it's not for us to be the judge and jury when it comes to what we observe superficially. All are experiencing exactly what they're supposed to experience right now because this is infinite intelligence. This is a matter of us trusting the same intelligence that was present when we were doing the absolute most. Ourselves, the same intelligence. The same intelligence was there when we, uh, you know, once again was uh, lying and cheating and stealing, trying to be deceptive, hurting people, laughing at people, making jokes, being a bully. When we were unaware, when we were unawakened, that same intelligence observed our activity. And once again, beyond, uh, <laughs> beyond discrimination, no, that energy is going to return to you, beloved. So you recognize the nature of these projections. It is necessary for you to evolve, truly necessary for you to evolve. Beyond favoritism, truly objective, energetic returns of your own deposits. Be present and see the overlapping forces of intelligence amongst all experiences. All experiences, they have their purpose. All experiences are showing us ourselves. All of them. Here's a suggestion. <laughs> follow your excitement. Continue to follow your excitement. Continue to follow your excitement. Follow your joy. Allow the heart to lead you. This is a matter of you trusting yourself. Your turn-ons, the things that you get excited about. What causes more source energy to flow through you? What do you get excited about? What are these things? What are these distortions of being that bring you a sense of joy that you're curious about? It'd be advantageous to identify these things. Now, yes, you're going to run into quote unquote problems or distortions, if you will, along your path. 
But just know that you're not being challenged. You're not being challenged, beloved. <laughs> to be challenged is to be presented with experiences that you may or may not be, be able to overcome. But once again, you created the experiences so you have the capacity in which to handle them by default because you wrote the story. You created the experience knowing that you had everything that you needed to do what you need to do and overcome everything that's being presented. Always. Always. By default. You have everything you need. By default. Because you wrote this story. Who are you going to be in this now moment? What version of yourself are you going to be in this now moment? Amongst these changes, amongst this transition. You get to decide what version of you is going to show up. Ask yourself, what version of you is going to show up? Now, once you can choose the screaming version, the, the, the version of self that communicates, that plays the blame game, the version that sends love, or the version that finds or attempts to find solutions. All of these versions, these responses are available to you. Now, it would be very helpful not to judge the value or the undertone of the experiences. It wouldn't jump to conclusions and feelings as if you're being punished. Sometimes we may feel as if we're being punished. It's like, well, no, let's not, let's not do that. All is serving you. All experiences are serving you. Experiences, experiments, if you will. Gauging your responses. What will come out of the seeming disaster that's presenting itself? What will this creator being do with this alchemical opportunity? That's a question. What will this creator being do with this alchemical opportunity? You have the ability to transmute situations. These are the ingredients of magic. Of course, it's all based on the individual's capacity of spiritual maturity. However, you do have all of the answers to the questions that present themselves, the problems that present themselves. You always have the answers, beloved. You created the story. You wrote the story, this narrative. You're the author, the director of this movie. You always have, there's always a way forward. You wrote the movie. You're the director here. There's always a way forward. You're never stuck. There's always a way forward. Anytime you find yourself in a jam, it's necessary for you to recognize that there's always a way forward. You wrote this story. Why would there not be a way forward? You wrote this story. There's always a way forward. Always. Nothing's ever hopeless. There's no such thing as a dead end. There's always a way forward. Always. Always. What do you mean? Always, always a way forward. Never are you stuck.
This is, only, this is what's so important about grounding yourself. There's great clarity in your ability to remain cool, to be cool, to relax. It has nothing to do with um, anything superficial. It's about your connection with peace. Your capacity of connection with the peace that provides the intelligence that's necessary for you to continue to move forward. Peace brings clarity, calm. That's why the idea of being cool is so important because once again, that sense of presence brings clarity. There's an open connection with the infinite intelligence of the heart space, which of course, there's always a way forward. Infinite intelligence knows exactly what to do at all times.